disease that's affecting this particular generation. Um, I believe that the best form of prevention is education. So I'd like to, to begin this presentation by asking you a question. It's not rhetorical. Um, Veronica, could you tell me what these guys have in common? Um, they're all really mean people. Okay, that's close. Actually, no, you're right. They're all douchebags. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Sunny Willie. Tonight I'll be talking to you guys about your friends. Um, throughout my high school career, I was in football, wrestled a little bit, and as a result, I met a plethora of uh, unfavorable individuals, some of which include uh, jackasses, uh, a holes, as well as most commonly douchebags. Uh, during my time around these people, there are three key things that I'll be informing you guys about. Number one, I'll tell you what a douchebag is, as well as uh, the different subtypes of douchebags, the different types of douchebags. Um, I will tell you how to identify a douchebag, and most importantly, I'll be informing each and every one of you of your own douchebag group. Let's begin. Um, what is a douchebag? According to Urban Dictionary, a douchebag is a male with a certain combination of obnoxious characteristics related to attitude, social ineptitude, public behavior, or outward presentation. According to dictionary.com, they're a contemptible or despicable person. Oftentimes, they're obnoxious, irritable. And, um, yeah. As many of you already know, you kind of already have an understanding of what a douchebag is, but tonight I will be going to the three types of douchebags. The first type of douchebag have the strongest personality because they're so determined to be douchebags. These are gym douchebags. <laughs> <laughs> you guys know these people if you go to the gym. They come in in groups. Uh, they wear a hat because they're too cool for a headband. Um, they need a belt, you know those weightlifting belts, because they're going to bench. 425, and they need three guys to help spot them because they're going to bench it one time. <laughs> Here's a characteristic of these type of douchebags. They always, always offer unsolicited advice because they're douchebags. And douchebags you know everything there is to know about anything and will kindly stop what they're doing to inform you and in what you're doing wrong. Uh, another characteristic of all of these gym douchebags is that they're all creepers. Um, <laughs> they think that they're slick. They, they often creep on girls by uh, looking in the mirror because they can't see them, right? They're real smart. <laughs> um, now I've been guilty of this a couple times. I, when I used to go to the gym, I'd see uh, a girl with a uh, wonderful personality. And, uh, but I'm not a douchebag, so I'd often just glance and move on in my day. But douchebags will organize their entire workout routine around this hot girl. Because what's the point of working out if you're not pressing in your keys, right? Douchebags. Um, <laughs> now, douchebaggery holds no location. <laughs> A gym douchebag will continue to be a douchebag outside of the gym. You'll often find these people at parties with little to no provocation. They will remove their shirts and like <laughs> whatever they want because they're just douchebags. Now the second type of douchebag we're talking about, I'm sure a lot of you already know about these, intoxicated douchebags. These are the type of people who will go to a party. You've already established that they're the designated driver. Um, two hours into the party, they'll take 30 shots, and after puking three times, will insist they're still sober enough to drive everybody home. These are very dangerous douchebags. Um, my personal favorite are uh, highly intoxicated douchebags. Um, I have a friend named David Benzo. Um, he's the type of person who would come to your house 
and smoke all of your tobacco. <laughs> and then insult it afterwards. Three out of four of you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> uh, the third and final type of douchebag I'll be talking about about tonight are trendy douchebags. Uh, do I even have to say anything else? Um, check out this particular douchebag. <laughs> Notice his hat. Um, there's two things that this guy cares about more than anything. That's his style and his hair. Therefore, one must never firmly place a hat on a beach bag's douchey head. He must, he must be laid onto his head at a certain angle. Notice his questionable tattoos. He probably has an owl or a star. <laughs> transformed into birds because he's so original. Um, he believes in those balance bracelets. He believes that they give you balance. <laughs> um, these are some confirmed douchebags. Uh, you can tell these guys from Jersey Shore, they're well-rounded douchebags. They're gym douchebags, intoxicated douchebags. Uh, we have the most underrated douchebag of all time, K-Fed. Uh, Soldier Boy, and of course, Team Douche, <laughs> One Direction. Teens uh, <laughs> are douchebags. I know what you're saying, who could be more douche than Kanye West? Uh, we have Riff Raff. Now, my final point is um, I'll tell you guys of whether or not you're a douche bro. Um, if you use the words bro, bro, dog more than once every three seconds, then you're a douche bro. Um, if you wear tap out shirts and are not currently employed by UFC, but insist that you can beat anybody up, then you're a douchebag. If you are, if you yell excessively during regular gym exercises, then you're a douchebag. Um, if you're overly protective over your community college, then uh, you're a douchebag. Um, and if you've had more girlfriends than books that you've read, then you're a douchebag. Uh, I'd like to end this speech with my final point, like I said, I believe that education is the final form of, uh, is the best form of edu prevention. Ed education is the best form of education. So uh, it's come to my attention that a lot of people take shirt selfies. They take selfies that are uh, this shirtless for the sole purpose of posting it online. And uh, if you do this, you're going to Thank you for your attention. I hope you learned a lot tonight.